may take your seat in the presence of the Lord. I love you, Lord. Hallelujah. My mind goes back to that song. Thank you. I'm certain Lady Mary Mother can attest to it, can relate to it. Amen. There's been a change. I got some more I got in my life. Says the Lord, as they said it, in an old, old song, laid his hands on me. Amen. That's exactly what happened. Hallelujah. Mother, I can thank you what you were saying because I was trying to tell a little bit of it in the Sunday school. When I first made my move to come to the Lord, it was through my mother's persuasion. Amen. But God don't want what your mama wants. He wants what you want. Amen. Amen. He wants to know what are you bringing to the table. Amen. Amen. Not the direction of your daddy. My God. Not the direction of your all brother and right, sister. Right. All right. But you. you. Amen. Jesus is a personal Savior. Yes, Amen. 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 He's not a Savior Hallelujah. through proxy. Amen. He doesn't save through proxy. Uh, in other words, I can get a, 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 a authorization from Brother Eric mm -hmm. and uh, he give me a power of attorney. Mm -hmm. I can go, go do things for him through proxy. Yeah. Amen. Salvation don't work that way. Oh, yeah. Amen. God wants to know what are you bringing to the table? What did you bring yeah. to the table? Yeah. Or if you want to make it present, what are you bringing to, to the table? Amen. 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 And for a reoccurring theme today, amen, all on the altar. All on the altar. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands and give God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give God. All on the altar. Amen. Amen. All on the altar. I want you to turn with me Senor, to Senor. two or three scriptures. Yes, Lord. Amen. Mm. In Thank the you. Psalms. Amen. I'm going to have you individually one one or two or three of the saints to read these. Amen. This is just kind of focus the theme. Psalms the seventh chapter, Lady Mary Weather. Psalms seven and eight. Brother Eric, Psalm twenty six and one. And Sister Ava, Psalms twenty five and twenty one. Amen. Psalms seven and eight. The Lord shall judge the people. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness mm -hmm. and according to my integrity that is in me. All right. Amen. What are you bringing to the table? All right. All Amen. Right. All right. Amen. David said this, or the psalmist, whoever it was, said this. Psalm 26 and 1, Mother Robinson, I do believe it is. Yes. Now, I'm sorry, his brother. Okay. Psalm 26 and 1. Mm -hmm. Judge me, O Lord, for I have walketh, walketh in mine integrity. Uh -huh. I have trusted also in the Lord. Uh -huh. Therefore, I shall not uh, slide. I shall right. not slide. Amen. Amen. What are you, again, what are you bringing to the table? Oh, my God. Amen. Uh, Psalms 25 and 21. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me. Mm -hmm. For I wait on thee. All right. Amen. Read that again, Sister Ava, mm -hmm. one more time. Let integrity mm -hmm. and uprightness mm -hmm. preserve me. For I wait on thee. Amen. Right. Let Lord. integrity Lord. and righteousness yes. preserve me. Yes. Amen. You see, we think sometimes that, you know, some of the things we've been taught, there's nothing wrong with the things we've been taught. But David, uh, the psalmist, is opening this thing up and making it more plainer to us. Mm -hmm. You know, it goes back to that saying that Jesus taught in the gospel mm -hmm. when he said, what shall a man give mm -hmm. in exchange for his soul? Amen. Amen. What? What can a woman or a man or boy, what can we give God in exchange for mm -hmm. our souls? I'll tell you right now, nothing but a sacrificial life committed to him in holiness right, and in all right. righteousness yes. all the days of our lives. Amen. 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 Not here and there. All right. Not here and yonder. Amen. David said, my integrity and my righteousness yes. shall preserve me. Yes. Amen. Keep me stained 
in the Lord. Ah, glory to God. I feel the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. All right, all right. For a quick reading or two in Scripture, turn with me to Sam. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me let me get my. Uh, I think so. I won't mislead you. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Here we go. Praise God. Got so many papers here, but it's gonna work out. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. We're gonna look at Joshua, 14th chapter. Joshua 14. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Joshua 14. I just want to use those scriptures to kind of focus it. Laser focus. Yes. The thought of integrity. Amen. That key word, integrity, yes. keeps coming up. Yes. Righteousness. Yes. Uprightness. Amen. Preserving, staying, keeping me from sliding. Like as Mother, as Mother Mayweather said, Mayweather said earlier, the Holy Ghost. My bishop preached it like this. The Holy Ghost is like, and she references it, it's like a magnet. You got this big lodestone that's got all these properties in it. And it's scanning everything beneath it. Amen. And every time it finds something with iron and steel and all that kind of characteristics, whoop, it pops up to it and snatches it up. Amen. That's how, that's a perfect picture of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus is the author and the finisher of this thing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And we're going to have to have a spirit like him. Yeah. And watch this, beloved. He's going to come in the middle of the sky. Yeah. He's not coming down no, here to oh, take no, you no, by no. your hand. Oh, he's no, coming no. in the middle of the sky. Oh, no. And he's going to park it right yeah. there. Hallelujah. Right there. Yeah. You're going to have to have something to oh, take you oh, off no. this earth. Yeah. Up to him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He's not going to take a list. Oh, Let's start reading name. Mother Merriweather, take the elevator. Sister Robinson, you get the elevator. Amen. No, no, no. You have to have something in you that gets you off this earth. Amen. Amen. Samuel, I'm sorry, Joshua chapter 14, starting at the seventh verse. Amen. And I'm going to read. Uh, amen. I'm going to read the, the uh, Amplified Version for this. You can follow in your Bible. Forty years old was I, uh, Joshua said. I mean, uh, not Joshua, Caleb said. Because in the seventh verse, or in the sixth verse, it says, Then the people of Judah came to Joshua in Gilgal, and Caleb, his good buddy and friend, in the faith, and in commitment to God. Yes. Amen. Two of them stood ten lied. Yes. Two of the witnesses, two of the spies told the truth. Yes. Ten lied. Yes. Amen. But they said we can do it because God said so. Yes. That's right. Amen. That's right. I'm going to tell you something, beloved. You don't have to have a crowd All right. to live safe. Amen. 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 You don't have to have a crowd. Just you and, you and one or two other people is all you need. Amen. Right. And you can make it. So, here we are. This great gathering. Yeah. The people of Judah came to Joshua and Gilgal and Caleb the son of Jephunneh. Jephunneh mm -hmm. The Kenites Kins, mm -hmm. said to him, his good friend, you know what the Lord said to Moses, uh -huh. the man of God concerning me and you mm -hmm. and Kadesh Barnea. Mm -hmm. Forty years old I was I when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to yeah. scout out the land. And I brought him a report as it was in my heart. Oh Keyword, yes. integrity. Amen. Amen. It was in his heart to give the truth. He gave the truth. Mm -hmm. But my brethren, the ten others who went, went up with me, made the heart of the people melt. Yes. Yet I wholly followed the Lord my God. Oh, wow. And Moses Amen. Let me get rid of these glasses because up close I can read better without them. Mm -hmm. And Moses swore on that day, surely the land on which your feet have walked shall be an inheritance to you and your children always, mm -hmm. because you have wholly followed the Lord, mm -hmm. my God. Amen. And now behold, the Lord has kept me alive, Caleb is testifying. Mm -hmm. He said, for these 45 years since the Lord spoke this word to Moses, while the Israelite wandered in the wilderness, and now behold, I am this day 85 years old. Talk Caleb. Amen. Yes. Yet I am as strong today 
as I was in the day when Mo the day Moses sent me, as my strength was then, so is my strength now Amen. for war. And to go out and to come in. Look what God can do for you. Amen. 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 So now give me this mountain, it says in King James, but it's hill country of which the Lord spoke. That day, for you heard then how the giant like Anakins were there, and that the cities were great and fortified. If the Lord will be with me, I shall drive them out just as the Lord said. Mm -hmm. Then Joshua blessed him and gave Hebron to, the, to Caleb, the son of Jeph Jephunneh, for an inheritance. Amen. 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 The, the Gospel of Mark, quick, and then we're going to go on in the name of the Lord. Amen. The Gospel of Mark, 10th chapter. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Very familiar part, portion of Scripture. Yes. Amen. I visit it a lot. I use it a lot. Amen. Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 21. Praise the Lord. This is where we'll start reading. And I'm going to read King James this time. Amen. Mark, Gospel, chapter 10, verse 21. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him. What do you bring to the table? And said unto him, One thing thou likest. Go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come, take up the cross, and follow me. And he was sad at that saying, and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked round about and said unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? Mm. And the disciples were astonished at his words. But Jesus answered again and said, Children, how hard is it for them that trust? He changed the understanding. Mm -hmm. He cleared it up. Yeah. How hard it is for them that trust in riches mm -hmm. to enter into the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God right. if he's trusted in his riches. All right. All right. And they were astonished out of measure because, you know, Peter and James and John, they were in a pretty, well, they were in a pretty successful business. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, just because they left don't mean they weren't drawing residuals from that business. Oh, yeah. Amen. I don't know how they did things in those days, but that's how they do it now. They were astonished out of major Jesus, verse 27. They looked upon them and said, Well, with men it is impossible. Uh, they, they were astonished. Well, let me finish that. They were astonished, verse 26, out of major, and saying among themselves, Who then can be saved? Mm -hmm. Jesus looked upon them and said, With men it is impossible, mm -hmm. but not with God. For with God all things are possible. Mm -hmm. In other words, God can save rich men. Oh, yes, he then can. Peter began to say unto him, Lo, we have left all and have followed thee. Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that have left house, right. or brethren, or sister, or father, yes. or mother, or wife, or children, or lands. He covered a lot of things, didn't he? Yes. For my sake. Mm -hmm. And the gospels. Yes. What do you bring into the table? You got to do it for Jesus Amen. and the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's hard to separate the two anyway. Amen. Amen. Ah, uh, where was I? Help me. Verse 30. But he shall receive that person that do that. The Lord said, this is the Lord's word, not Pastor Robinson. But he shall receive, he or she shall receive an hundredfold. Right. Now in this time, houses and brethren and sisters and mothers and children and lands with person. Something else is coming with them. Right, right, with persecutions right. and in the world to come. Yes. Eternal life. Amen. Then Jesus made a, made a profound Amen. statement. But many that are first, yeah. here's the clear understanding of that. Yeah. But many who are now first will be last uh -huh. then. Mm -hmm. And many who are now last shall, shall be, will, will be first then. Amen. 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 Clap your hand and give God praise. You may take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 What a man did you bring, or what are you bringing to bring it up to, to, to make it present tense? What are you bringing to the table? What are you bringing to the Lord? Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
for a reoccurring theme all on the altar. All right, praise God. Amen. 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 So I'm ready to say all on the altar is laid. Uh -huh. it, all on the altar of sacrifice right. laid. Amen. 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 That's what we got to bring to him. Amen. 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 All the time. Let me share with you a little bit about in integrity. Uh -huh. Amen. I printed this off and I want to read just a little bit of it because I don't have time to deal with all of it. Uh -huh. Spiritual integrity. Yes. Live a life of purpose mm -hmm. and divine connection. Amen. It takes that. I'm going to take you to Psalms 18 and prove it. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. The writer said, have you ever made a commitment to yourself and not followed through? Mm. How many have done that? Amen. Say amen. amen. Do you wish you had more energy and space to create change in your life? Oh, yeah. Are you often confused about what your purpose really is? Mm. Or how to manifest it? Mm. Are you ready to step into your destiny? Amen. In your innate fullness uh -huh. and integrity which will lead you to your destiny. All right, all right. Spiritual integrity is a path to wholeness. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, we, when we live from our own spiritual integrity, we follow through on our commitment without stress, mm -hmm. confusion, or fear. We're constantly inspired and energized to respond to changes with, eyes, with our eyes wide open. We are clear about what we are and where we are going. Uh -huh. Our actions are in alignment with our hearts and with God, especially uh -huh. if that's who. I, I know this writer has talked about the general, generic, amen, description of spirituality. But I know, I know difference and I know all of you know difference. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, the world talks about a spirituality, but it has nothing to do with God. They talk about... Uh, and they allow for all kinds of approaches to God. I had a friend, and my wife did too, uh, who said, Amen, uh, there is more than one way to God. Yeah. Amen. I had to uh, say, no, sis, uh, I think the songwriter got it right mm -hmm. when they said one, one, one. One way to God. Amen. The world would have you to know, our good Muslim brothers would have you to believe that they have a pathway to God. Mm -hmm. Our Native American brothers would have you believe that they serve the Great Spirit. That's a pathway to God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Others will say, well, uh, you know, it depends on how God deals with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, it does too, but God has got a uh, a plan. I love what Mother Robinson said. God has got a plan and the plan is clear. Mm -hmm. Jesus being the author and the finisher of this plan amen uh, he worked it out. He sat down with God his father way back in the Old Testament in the book of Psalms. Mm -hmm. I believe it's also amen uh, amen in, in, yes in the book of Psalms. It, it says God in his counsel was talking, amen, uh, to, amen, to, to, to Jesus or, or who, amen, at that time was, uh, amen, uh, let me put it this way so I won't be confused about it. Let me go to John 1 so I can make it clear. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. The same was in the beginning with Him. So God and his counselor were counseling with himself. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. And he spoke to the, to the word. Amen. In, in John, the word means, amen, God's plan of actions, God's thoughts, God's future purposes. Amen. Jesus was known earlier as the word, the logos. Yes. Amen. And it was all that God was going to do for us. Amen. amen. Lead us to repentance. Lead us to baptism yes. in Jesus' Thank name. Lead us to the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Amen. Which is clearly promised to us in Acts 1. We read it in our scripture. Yes. Amen. The disciples asked the Lord. They said, Lord, amen. When will you restore unto us the, the kingdom of Israel from the Roman government? Yes. 
And the Lord said to them, Amen, it is not given unto me. That, that is in the Father's hand. And that's not given unto me to be talking about that and trying to explain that to you. But what, you, what I want you to know is this. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. And a little bit more of this spirituality. We constantly inspire and energize. Uh, we read that. Many of us learn integrity is from the outside in. Uh -huh. We take on rules and beliefs that are handed down from our parents and grandparents, church, school, and community. Yes. Often these rules are not in alignment with who we are at that time. Amen. Because the word of God tells us uh, God hates a liar. Mm -hmm. But when you're unsaved, you will lie at the drop of a hat. Amen. My Lord. God tells us God hates, amen, unrighteousness and, and sin. And we will do whatever our flesh demands of us My to God. do. My God. Because we are serving at that time the only master that we know and understand. And that is our flesh. And who is in charge of that at that moment is the one who runs this world. Yes. Who is the, the spirit that's guiding this world. Satan. Yes. Amen. This is his world. This is his fear. Yes. Until God comes in and messes it up. As my big brother and, and Mother Meriwether's big friend, Bishop Showell, I love him when he talks to us in Bible way about salvation and about how God works it. He said it's a God thing. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Man, he said, uh, you bring some things to the table, but all you bring to the table is cooperation and obedience to God's word, and the rest of it is his thing. Amen. Amen. That's why he said in the Old Testament when he was talking to Israel and comparing to him how he was operating with them under the law, God said to the mouth of Jeremiah and possibly also to Ezekiel, he said, I'm going to do a new thing. Hallelujah. He said, it's not going to be like it was in the old days. When I told my priest and my priest told me you and you passed it on down to every man his brother and you learn what thus saith the Lord. Amen. And, and another scripture said, amen. And, and even after learning it, you didn't keep it anyhow. Hallelujah. You failed anyhow after learning it. But God said, I'm going to do a new thing. Hallelujah. I'm going to go into a man and I'm going to work on his heart. Amen. I'm going to change his hand. Hallelujah. I'm going to change his, his nature. Hallelujah. From being Adamite, amen, to being Jesus related. Hallelujah. Amen. In the process, I'm going to give you a new mind. Hallelujah. And a new spirit. Hallelujah. I love it when, when the Ezekiel said, I'm going, to, I'm going to give you a new spirit. Hallelujah. I'm going to put my spirit in you, and you are going to obey my word and obey my precept and my direction. Amen. From your heart. Because you love me. Hallelujah. Amen. It's not by commandment. It's by love. Amen. That you will do what you do. Amen. And I'm so glad. Hallelujah. That I, mother, I'm so glad I got the Holy Ghost. Glad. Hallelujah. Deep down or in my sanctified soul. Amen. I love what the scriptures say. Amen. It says, Amen. Paul said to the Roman church, he said, Amen. Uh, God has given you the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And the love of God has been imparted unto you through and by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only do the Holy Ghost seal you, all right, all right. hallelujah, and save you, yes. hallelujah, Bring you into the body of Christ. One of the most important reasons why you, why I need and you need the Holy Ghost. Amen. According to scripture and according to that scripture, amen, nobody is saved until they are filled with the Holy Ghost. Ah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, hallelujah. And when I learned that and was sitting in that apostolic church called Bible Way at this road, amen, hallelujah, brothers and sisters, my heart smote me. I said, amen, hallelujah, 
So I said, Lord, I'm trying to love you. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can at this moment. Hallelujah. Amen. But I knew I was going to come up short because Romans, the 8th chapter says, amen. It says, amen, that the flesh, amen, would have, ah, glory, glory, glory to God. Uh, in the law, amen, the law was weak through the flesh. Hallelujah. In that it did not change the nature of man. Hallelujah. It caused him to know the righteousness of God. It caused him or her to know, amen, God's will for your life. Hallelujah. But it did not change you. And that's why men had to continually, time after time, year after year, amen, bring the appropriate sacrifice under the law, amen, in order to maintain a right relationship with God, amen. And I'm so glad, hallelujah, amen, amen. And when I got saved, amen, God did me a favor, hallelujah. He took away the mind that I had. He took away the mind of earth, amen. And he gave me a quick mind, hallelujah. I could think like him, amen. I could see things like he saw it. I could hear glory, hallelujah. I could believe things, amen, that he revealed to me, amen. On the spot, amen. He would say it, and I would get it, amen. And I would say, thank you, Jesus, amen, hallelujah. But I'm glad, hallelujah, amen, that he didn't make this thing free for me. Because if he had made it free, amen, I would have treated it like something cheap, amen. Hallelujah. But he made it, amen. Amen. A little bit difficult, amen. I had to put something in it. I had to bring something to the table, amen. And like David said, amen, I said when I was praying for my salvation, amen, I know all of us have said something like this, but I said, Lord, if you will save me, amen, I'll serve you all the days of my life, amen. I meant it, amen. I meant it from my soul, amen. Even though the Lord could have took issue with me and said, son, you're going to fail, amen. You're going to fall black right on your face, amen. And you're going to have to come back to me and repent, amen. And I'll restore you, amen. But I meant it, amen, like they did. Hallelujah. Clap your hands. And give God glory. Hallelujah. Clap your hands. And give Him glory. Hallelujah. Ah, glory. Let's deal with this word integrity. Hallelujah. It says faithful support of a standard of values is one definition of integrity. Terms which occur in parallel with integrity. Let's give some Hebrew which I'm not going to try to pronounce. Uh -huh. Suggest so its shades of meaning. One of them is righteousness. Uh, I believe Mother read Psalm 7 and 8. The other is Brother uh, Eric read 25. No, that sister read that. I, I believe she did. Sister Ava, 25 and 21. No, without wavering. Amen. Stable. Amen. Another scripture said, Amen. Ah, uh, help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It said something about, Amen. I shall not be moved. Amen. I can't get it all together. But there is assurance in the Word of God that if we live right, if we walk right, if we love God with all of our heart, God is a stabilizing force. Amen. He will set you. The, oh, God. Thank you, Holy Ghost. The, the, the psalmist said, He will put my, He will put His feet upon a rock to stay. Amen. Hallelujah. And uh, uh, David said, uh, Amen. Something about uh, being like Mount Zion. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, uh, amen. Uh, the temple and the temple mount is built upon Mount Zion. Amen. All of Jerusalem is built upon seven pinnacles. 
hills of mountains, but the temple grounds itself is built upon a mountain that they call Mount Zion. Amen. Ah, glory. And David proved it about the stabilizing force of the power of God through the Holy Ghost, through the Word of God, through your love, and through, amen, you maintain it, your integrity with God. Amen. That's the only way we can be made whole. That's the only way God can clean us up. That's the only way God can purge us from all these unclean things. It's because we bring something to the table. Amen. That he respects us. Amen. You can't buy salvation. You can't purchase salvation. You can't trade for salvation. But you can obey your way. Amen. To salvation. Because the Bible said faith coming by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Clap your hand and give God praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They, uh, Jesus, I know I'm kind of skipping around a little bit. Jesus was moving by the Spirit of God. And he was in Jericho and he was getting ready to move on. The Bible says he prepared to move on. A young man. In the other gospel, we found that he was a rich young ruler. Yes. Amen. He was a blue blood. Yes. Had some relationship to royalty. Amen. 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 Uh -huh. But he had a love for God. All right. So he came running to Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Yes. I know, brothers and sisters, yes. he was motivated yes. by his actions. Yes. Amen. He came running to yes. Jesus. Amen. And he's, I, I like to say, and this is only me, he whoops slid whoop, in there to the Lord. Amen. My daughter's shaking her head. Amen. And he said, good master. He treated him good. He dressed him well. Good master, what must I do to be saved, to, to inherit eternal life? Amen. Now Jesus took him to the issue on that good statement. He said, now how can you determine that I'm good? Amen. He said, the only person that I know that's good is the Father himself. Amen. Now, I want to say to you, the Bible do declare that there was no sin in Jesus. There was no guile in him. No, not even a hint of unrighteousness. And so, to a certain degree, amen, he's above us. Amen. In his behavior and conduct. But the young man said, Lord, Amen. Ah, uh, when and then Jesus, after he talked to him about good and who was good, he said, uh, uh, I tell you what, uh, what do you know about the law? Amen. Uh, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt love thy neighbor, obey thy parents. Amen. Don't steal, don't covet. Amen. All of the relationship Jesus dealt with from, from in the law from man to man. And when he got through, the young man said, Lord, I have kept thee from my youth up. Amen. Hallelujah. A good testimony. I sometimes wish I could testify like that. Amen. I wish I could say it to the Lord. Amen. Lord, since you say that, amen, I have never sinned. Amen. I wish I could say it. I wish I could say amen. Lord, amen. I've obeyed every one of your commandments. Amen. That I wish I could say, amen, Lord, amen, I want to be like Job, amen, 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 upright and blameless, amen, before your sight, amen, but I'm, I'm thankful of this one thing, according to First John, amen, if and when I fail or you fail, I thank God, amen, I have, amen, somebody to go to, amen, I have an advocate, amen, and John said that, that Jesus is, that God is faithful and just, amen, to forgive us if we could just but repent, amen, and become godly sorrow, amen, and I'm glad that that's in uh, 
the gospel. I'm praying that because I know Sunday would be lost. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad. I'm on my way to heaven. Amen. And I'm so glad. Amen. I got the joy of the Lord in my soul. Amen. The Holy Ghost as my keeper. Hallelujah. And the word of God. Amen. As my pathway and the light to my path. Amen. And I'm glad for everything. But so when I sin, immediately, ah, glory. I know it. Amen. I understand it to the fullest. Amen. And then I get about obeying the Lord. Yes, yes, Clap yes. your hand and give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. David said in Psalm 78, he said, The Lord shall judge the people. Yes. Amen. Yes. Oh my God. Did he tell the Lord, judge me? Judge me. Judge me. But not any kind of way. All right. Amen. He said, Judge me according to my righteousness. Now, I want to explain this righteousness <laughs> because people will start thinking, oh, I've got some righteousness somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Let me go collect it, put it all together, and go show God Jesus. how righteous I am. Oh, God. Amen. That's not how it works. No, it doesn't. Uh, I told you, it's what you bring to the table. All right. Uh, your righteousness comes from Jesus. That's right. That's right. Our Lord. Amen. 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 And it only comes to you when you do like David said, mm -hmm. Lord, look at the righteousness you gave me yes. and the uprightness in my heart yes. and then judge me in my integrity. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. You gave it to me. Yes. So that's good for you. Amen. And I'm wrong with that. Amen. But my heart, Lord, where is it? My God. Uh-huh. Where is my heart? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Is it all for you? Or is it 10% for you? My God. And ninety percent for me. My God. Amen. My God. Uh, do I pick mm -hmm. and choose mm -hmm. when I worship you? And if I don't feel like it, I won't do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I can't behave like that now. No. I can't. No. There's something in me that says to me, I was glad yes. when they said unto me, See? Let, let us, us go into the house. Of the Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, turn with me to Psalms 18. Amen. Psalms 18. Yes. Let's deal with David. And leave me out of it. Amen. Let's deal with David. Mm -hmm. David is dealing with the Lord here. Psalms 18 is a beautiful scripture. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's a beautiful scripture. Yes. Pa part of it, David is talking to the Lord. Part of it, God is talking mm. to David. I got it written in my book what David brings. Mm. And then when God starts talking, mm. I got it written in there what God does. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Let's start at the very first to show you, you got to bring something to the Lord. Yes. What did Jesus say about our heart towards Him? He commanded us that we love Him. Amen. So therefore we can't do this part-time stuff. All right. We can't. Mm -hmm. He said, you have got to love me yes. with all of your heart. Yes. All of your mind, all of your soul, all of your strength, Amen. and all of your power. Mm -hmm. All. Mm -hmm. Is your all on the altar of sacrifice laid? Oh my Is it? That's the question. Oh my God. And mother... Meriwether was correct. You know. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. I can't judge you, oh, yes. but you know. Amen. Your conscience will tell you. Is it all on the altar? Mm -hmm. Is everything given to Jesus? Your mind's going to say, ah. mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then you got work to do. Amen. Amen. Now, you notice I didn't say all the mind is on the altar. All I'm right. working on it. All right. I'm seriously yes. working on it. And, I'm, and I prove it by every time that door is supposed to open and I'm supposed to be here in the name of the Lord for the Lord's glory, I bust through that door. I demonstrate 
to the Lord where my heart is. Amen. Amen. I don't talk it. Show it. Mm -hmm. Amen. David said here, first verse of the 18th chapter, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Yes. Then he starts testifying. The Lord is my rock mm -hmm. and my fortress, mm -hmm. my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Amen. Somebody tell me that David is not hooked up with the Lord. Go ahead, try to tell me. Tell me he's not hooked up with the Lord. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's learned a lot of things about the Lord and what the Lord can do. Now, he didn't stop there. He said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. He went on to say the sorrow of the death compassed me. The floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. All David's living experiences. But he said, in my distress, I, hallelujah, I didn't text my friend. Amen. I didn't text, amen, all my schoolmates. Amen. I didn't call somebody way across the United States. Amen. Who did I call? I called upon the Lord. And I cried unto my God. And he heard my voice. Amen. Tell me, David, don't have a, a relationship with the Lord. Amen. He said, and he heard me. Amen. Amen. Ah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Help me somebody. Ah, well, well, hallelujah. Where am I? Amen. Amen. He heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came unto him, even unto his ears. He didn't even want to talk about what God did in response to that. From verse 7, amen, all the way to verse 15. And then David said, he, and then David said, now I love him that much. I prayed him that much. I worship him that much. And he did all of those things for me. Amen. But I want to, David said, in verse uh, 16, amen, I want to tell you something private. He sent from above, and he took me and drew me, amen, out of the hands of my enemies. I don't care how many enemies you got. Amen. I don't care what kind of weapons they got. Amen. The Bible says that the Holy Ghost will lift up a standard against them. Hallelujah. And they can't do nothing but whimper and go away. Amen. Because Jesus will say something like this. Peace be still. Clap your hand and give God glory. Hallelujah. Jesus. David goes on to say, yes. verse 18, yes. verse 17. Yes, if you got some real tough enemies, I tell you, now I want to say this by way of encouragement. Yes, sir. Amen. Mm -hmm. All of us, no matter what yes. the level yes, yes. of our relationship is, yes. all of us yes. are going to have troubles, yes, sir. problems. Oh, yeah. Some of them, as far as we can tell, mm -hmm. unsolved. Yes. Amen. See. Mm -hmm. But I want to challenge you. I don't think you took it to God yet. All right. Amen. 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 Because the Bible says all things are possible. All. Amen. All things. All. Little testimony. I was working in Germany. I shared, <laughs> shared it with you guys. My sponsor took care of me real well, set me up in the house, put food in there and everything. And then by and by, after I took over the shop, he became my arch enemy. He turned everybody in the shop against me except for a couple of people. They made a hangman's news and hung it above my desk. Mm -hmm. Amen. All of them connived and did that. Mm -hmm. But the two that was on my side, they did because they come and told me about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I said, Lord, I said, what am I to do with all this? God said, Pray for your enemy. Mm -hmm. Do good to them that despitefully use you. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I said, yes, Lord. I left, Brother Eric, I left the office where the commotion was going on. 
after he'd come into my face, cussed me out, <coughs> spit on me, that close. He really liked spitting, just talking and spitting. I was so bad, my flesh was so hyper, my hands were clenching and unclenching. The, the Adamite part of me says, break his nose. <laughs> the Holy Ghost said, uh -uh. That's right. <laughs> The Holy Ghost said, you will keep your hands your at your side. <laughs> In afterthought, my response, thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 I, you know what? In the world, and you know, in thinking worldly, I think I could have took it. Yeah. Amen. But God would have got no glory. That's right. My name would have been murdered. That's right. I would have had no testimony as a Christian. That's right. They would have said to me, All right, Robinson, you say you beat him down. Amen. Amen. Christians don't do that. Well. Devilish people do that. Yes. Amen. My testimony would have been shot. Yes. Amen. I'm glad I listened. That's right. I'm, glad. I'm glad the Holy Ghost talked to me. I'm glad I took it Amen. to his glory yes. and for his gospel Amen. and for his name's sake. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to tell you something. God went to work for me. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. Yes, he did. I got victory. Yeah. I got moved from one shop to the next shop. Yeah. I took over as first sergeant of the company. Mm. Tell me God can't do something. Yes, first sergeant of the company. Amen. Acting first sergeant of the company because didn't have the rank to hold a real, yeah. real office. Mm -hmm. I'd be coming in the morning and do the formations and do the hail and farewells and take care of the funerals. And Brother Eric, I learned, woo, I learned a whole lot of stuff about the first sergeant job. Woo, good boy in a hurry. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I had called people, read policy, called to my company commander and my field first, and them guys kept me right on the money. Amen. But God got the glory. Yes, he did. Here's what God did. Because David said he, he delivered me, verse 17, yes, from my strong enemies yes, and from them that hate me. Mm -hmm. For they were too strong too. for me. Mm -hmm. They, those strong enemies, they prevented him. They got in the way of him doing things that God wanted him to do. Mm -hmm. They prevented me in the day of my calamity. But look at the latter part. But the Lord was my stay. David said, on one occasion, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. He said, my foot will not be moved. Amen. So God was his stay. Uh, uh, look at verse 19. This is when God can bless. Read that. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. What are you bringing to the table? Hallelujah. Something has got to be on the table because the Lord is looking for something. And if he don't see it, he can't bless you. All right. He can't deliver you. He can't move for you like he wants to move right. for you. Amen. Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. Look at the next verse. And I want you to really get this. The Lord rewarded me. Not only did he bless him, bring him into a large place. A place of great blessing. Great deliverance. Not only did he do that. Look at the next verse. On top of that, the Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness. Let's make that plain. He rewarded me according to his righteousness that he gave to me. Amen. Amen. Because I obeyed him. Amen. Y'all get this? Amen. We get righteousness from the Lord through obedience. Yes. So the more we disobey, obey, I'm sorry, I said it wrong. The more we disobey, the less righteousness we receive yeah, from right. God. From God. Amen. Right. Amen. The Bible is very clear about this. In Genesis it says, and Abraham believed God. And he accounted it, God accounted it unto him as righteousness. Amen. 
I want to explain that belief because New Testament, Old Testament belief is a, is a little, um, requires a little bit of understanding. Mm -hmm. It requires a little bit of understanding. Uh, when the Bible say Abraham believed God, he didn't just say, okay, now y'all follow me carefully, human reason, okay, God is because he talks to me. I can't see him. Uh, he has power. Um, he has blessed me. Okay, cool. I believe it. That's not it. Uh uh. Everybody say, uh uh. That's not it. Abraham believed God because he obeyed God. He obeyed. He heard what God said and he did what God said. And that was accounted unto him as righteousness. Amen. Uh -huh. I know New Testament teachers today say, all you got to do is just believe that he's Savior and believe that he died for your sins and, uh, and that you, you, he's coming back to you. You want him to be your Savior and that's it. You just believe and that's it. And you are saved. Wrong answer. Amen. Amen. Wrong answer. You got to do something. Amen. Jesus said, "Repent." Yes. He said, "Be baptized." Mm -hmm. You better start doing something. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, "And then you shall receive the gift <laughs> after you do the first two things." See, so this God is a God of faith unto obedience. Your faith has got to drive you up to obey God. Amen. And then God will. Put righteousness on your account. Mm -hmm. That's why David could say, God bless me according to my righteousness. Because I've been obeying him. Amen. And what David said, watch his obedience. Mm -hmm. Amen. Watch his obedience. Uh, what did he say that proves he, his obedience? Uh, glory to God. 20. Come on. Amen. 20. 20. The Lord will make uh, cleanse of my hand. He has recognized Look at verse 21. Obedience, obedience. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly departed from my God. He didn't say I just stood there believing him and he gave.